Welcome back to the earliest reviews. Today's review is focused on iCarly episode 12 entitled I Throw a Flawless Dinner Party. And the official synopsis of I Throw a Flawless Dinner Party is Carly plans for a dinner party to help clear up her relationship status with Wes, but a glitchy app, Harper's work problems, and Spencer's love life intrude on her perfectly planned evening. Good episode. We have one more episode until season one is officially over with, and it has been renewed for a second season. So here is my episode recap and my episode review. So the episode begins with just Carly and Wes coming back from a day together of just paintballing and everything. Carly won a trophy at the paintball place that they was at and she suggests that her and Wes have dinner. Wes on the other hand can't make it to dinner because he always has Sunday dinner with his Nona, his grandmother. And Carly decides and suggests that Wes and her grandmother should come over for Sunday dinner tomorrow at Spencer's place as she's going to cook. But the problem is, is that Carly doesn't know how to cook at all. Meanwhile, we see Spencer and Maeve, their relationship is starting to like go sideways a little bit. And Carly asks Spencer to use his place to cook dinner. And Spencer, he agrees because why not? And so we see Freddie and Millicent, they go over to Carly's place where Freddie is presenting his newest app that he has made. And it is basically, and the new app is basically to help people cook and everything with recipes, finish cooking uh, after like a certain amount of time and everything. And Carly decides to use Freddie's app to help her prepare for a Sunday dinner. So then meanwhile, we see Harper she is somewhat freaking out as she is trying to come up with a perfect dress for her client as well as her boss double dutch as double dutch has like an important get together tomorrow and everything and harper is trying to figure out exactly like what to make as the last couple of dresses that harper has made double dutch hasn't liked and she fears that she's going to get fired so it is nighttime and we are at Spencer's place. Carly is starting to prepare the dinner for Wes and her grand and his grandmother and as well as the entire gang as they're going to come as well because why not? And then things are starting to go good at first until Wes and his grandmother Nona comes and it seems as if like grandma Nona is going to be a nice person but the grandmother flat out tells Carly that she does not like her. And the night goes from bad to pretty worse, if you ask me. Um, Freddy's app starts to glitch and everything, starts to like mess up all kinds of things and everything. <laughs> like um, Spencer and Maeve, they're having relationship problems. Millicent tries to freaking persuade grandma nona try to make her like like her and everything because with millicent she's able to like turn things around but this grandmother does not like millicent at all and, <laughs> and whatever she tries to do it just won't work and to make things worse harper's boss double dutch has to come and see the dress at spencer's place and so Carly, she's making salad, um, a giant ravioli, um, garlic bread, toast, and everything is served as the dinner is all done and everything, but the giant ravioli looks extremely suspicious as it is moving like something is alive inside. And so everybody is about to have dinner, but then long story short, Grandma Nona almost gets put on a t-shirt because of Carly's um, mistake as she did not cook everything completely as she used raw sausage in the food. Carly and the entire gang talk how she feels bad about ruining the dinner, 
but everybody is just like it's not her fault like don't be so worried about it as Wes and his grandmother went to Carly's place to just to take a nap so then when Carly goes to her place she sees grandma Nona on the couch Wes is in the back doing something and she she apologizes for the dinner being a huge mess and everything and she thinks as if that grandma Nona is dead and everything because of her cold palm so then Carly tries to give her CPR. It causes more ruckus between her and Wes. And so after Wes puts his grandma in the car, Wes and Carly talk and everything. And Wes is just like his grandma is, just like, is someone of a nut job. And how his last girlfriend would have just basically let her die and everything on some cold hearted time. <laughs> and so long story short, after the talk, Wes and Crowley, they're a couple. So the episode basically ends with just Spencer and Maeve. They break up. And Spencer, he's just a little bit upset, somewhat depressed as well. But he decides for old time's sake to cook spaghetti tacos. And I think that this is the first time in the, in the entire revival that we've seen spaghetti tacos. So Freddie has a new idea about an app about therapeutic dogs and everything, people and that kind of stuff. He decides to name the app after Double Dutch Dog Kevin. And Spencer takes the dog back from Freddie. And that is how the episode basically ends. I would say some of the things that I enjoyed about this episode would probably have to be Carly in the cooking segment with Carly trying to cook and everything and just everybody just coming in the way and just causing just a ruckus. Pretty funny, but at the same time, she almost killed Wes's grandma due to her not cooking everything properly and as well as everybody else. Like, horrible to say the least. Carly trying to save Wes's grandma when she thinks that she's dead is just crazy. A little bit funny, but at the same time, I thought that it would have went at that dark aspect but it doesn't so oh well another thing that i enjoyed about this episode would probably have to be with just freddie trying to develop his app and him just coming up with him just coming up with another idea for an app i have a feeling that that's going to probably become a theme for the remaining of the season for freddie just making up different apps and just see what happens from here on in spencer and Maeve breaking up is kind of surprising but but out of all i enjoyed the episode for what it was one more episode until the season one finale so thank you for watching and until next time goodbye